The temperatures are cooling, which means it's time to heat up your stove and make some delicious soups, chilies, and stews to keep you and your family warm. Chili is traditionally made with ground beef, but October is National Pork Month, so we're throwing a twist into that tradition. Here to help us celebrate Porktober by sharing a delicious pork chili recipe is Stacy Sorlene with the South Dakota Pork Producers Council. Thank you so much for coming in, Stacy. Thanks for having me. This smells delicious. But before we get to this chili, I just want to start by talking about Porktober. Yes. So why are we celebrating pork this month? You know, October is Pork Month, and so it gives us an opportunity to get out there, um, tell our story a little bit, have our producers, you know, showcase what they do every day. They raise a healthy, nutritious um, protein, and it goes well with a lot of things. So we just mentioned how traditionally you don't think of chili as having pork in it. Right. But this chili does. So just it, explain to me what this, how you describe this flavor and what the pork, you know, if it's tender or how, how it kind of works. Yeah. You know, with the chili, with ground pork, so many people overlook ground pork when it comes to um, a protein that you can feed your family with. And it's very um, low value in the meat case. And so it's priced lower than ground beef is per pound. And so you can use ground pork in pretty much anything, you know, not just your chili, but like your spaghettis, um, taco meat, anything where you might use ground beef in. Um, and it has, it's a very lean, it's just, you know, it's 96% lean. Um, just like you've got your ground beef, you've got um, a great product to put in a lot of your meals that you might use in the winter. So if we have our, you know, favorite chili recipe that we always like to make, could we just substitute whatever meat we normally put in for pork and do it like that? Absolutely. Okay, so we have this chili here. Now tell me what is in this chili? You know, what we have is just plain ground pork. We have our chili beans, uh, kidney beans, uh, stewed tomatoes, a little tomato juice, and then chili seasoning. Okay, so I'm going to try this because I want to taste it. And I feel like chili seasoning is so powerful too that whatever meat you have, it doesn't really change it. But right. I'm a big fan of chili, so... That is really good. Well, thank you. I really can't tell the difference. No, you can't. It's so good. So, when adding our own little flavor to chili, we always want to have a side sometimes. So, mm -hmm. what are some great things to pair with this chili? You know, you can always use your standard crackers. You can use your tortilla chips. Um, cinnamon rolls is kind of a staple at our house. Um, so, usually when we're making chili, um, the family always knows that it's going to be a cinnamon roll kind of a night. So walk me through this recipe. I know we mentioned that a lot of people have their own, but I want to know what this recipe is, and it is delicious, so I would give it a try, but just walk me through it. So basically, it's just your ground pork. Um, you've got your chili beans, your diced tomatoes, your little bit of water, chili powder, a little bit of cinnamon, and oregano leaves, and then salt and pepper to taste. Mmm, it looks delicious. So I would say that I'm not the biggest spicy fan, but how would you describe this as spicy flavor? I didn't think it was bad. No, it's not. Um, this is a very mild chili, so it can pretty much hit anybody's standard taste buds. So how could I make it spicier? You could add in, you know, a jalapeno, or you could add in maybe your spicier uh, taco seasoning, um, pe pepper mix. Um, you know, just kind of add in some red pepper flakes or something like that, too. Would you recommend pairing this with any other meats, too, and adding two different meats, or...? Absolutely. You could easily dice up some ground pork loin um, and, you know, maybe you've got some leftover from some pork chops, cut up some pork chops into little bites, add that in. Um, you could also add in um, ground pork with, um, and then by combining it with pork sausage to give it a little bit more heat. You know, at Hy-Vee you can buy that spicy um, ground sausage. So, I mean, that would also help give it a little bit of heat. So, when we're making this chili and we have different meat options, as when we're talking about nutritional value, mm -hmm. what is the pork in this? How you know, does this raise it? It is a lean um, protein. Um, you could also go towards your pork tenderloins and your pork loins. Anything with loin in it equals lean. So you're getting a really lean protein to put into your meals. I think that's a big misconception a lot of people have because when we think of pork, a lot of people think of bacon. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So now I want to talk about, when we're talking about chili, this is a great recipe, but what are some other ways for Porktober can we celebrate and use pork? You know, there's lots of recipes out there. I mean, Crock-Pot recipes, you know, the Instapot is huge right now. Um, you can put ribs in there, I mean, and have them done in 45 minutes or up to 30 minutes. Um, you've got your pork loins, your pork tenderloins, pork chops. Um, you've got the stuffed pork chops you can get at Hy-Vee. I mean, there's so many options where you can pick it up put it in the oven in 45 minutes to an hour, you have a meal. And that one, 145 degree, that yes. is something that you push a lot. Why is this so important? Because, I, because 
when you overcook pork, it gets tough, it dried out, and people don't have a great eating experience. So when you cook it to 145 with that three minute rest time, it's gonna be like a moist, medium doneness, it's gonna be juicy, it's gonna be flavorful, and people are gonna wanna go back to the meat case and buy more pork. Where can people get more recipe ideas for this? You know, they can visit us on our Facebook page, uh, South Dakota Pork Council. Um, we are also have our webpage, which is pork.org. And we've got lots of recipes, thousands and thousands of recipes out there. Are there any chili recipes, too, that have more vegetables? What are some things that you can add into chili? You know, you can add, I mean, everybody has their own flavor. I feel like a recipe is kind of a blank canvas. Mm -hmm. Add what you feel like you like and take out what you don't like. So, I mean, some people could put mushrooms in there and some people, you know, it just, I think it, it varies to taste. How about for a white chili recipe? Absolutely. There are some out there. So visit our website, SouthDakotaPork.org. Um, lots of great recipes out there for that. So how has pig and pork farming grown? Over the you decades. know, in South Dakota, we're growing by leaps and bounds. We've got lots of new producers just starting up. Last night, I did an open house for a very young couple um, opening up a, a barn up by Arlington. And, you know, it was it's great to see the support of the community as these um, barns are coming up and being built and putting more into South Dakota. I mean, it gives this family a start to farming and also gives back to South Dakota. So what do you see for the future? For pork. I think the future looks bright for pork in South Dakota. Me too. Well, this was delicious, and we will also have this recipe up on our Kelloland Living page at kelloland.com. So we'll have that for you to get, and then we also will have a link for where you can find some more pork recipes to celebrate Porktober. So thank you so much, Stacy, for thank coming you. in. It was good to see you. Nice to see you. Well, if you're ready to celebrate Porktober, you'll find this pork chili recipe under the story on our Kelloland Living page, and you'll also find other tasty pork recipes by visiting www.sdppc.org recipes.